Hey everybody, happy Sunday. I hope that wherever you are and whatever you are doing, you are having an amazing weekend. I am in the greenhouse. It is nice to be back. This greenhouse is not very really good anymore. Um, this is the new, the new replacement plastic that I got and it's not very good. Unfortunately, it's not good news in the greenhouse. So as some of you would know, I have been away in the UK and so my wife was looking after my plants. Let's have a look there. So we have some dead tomatoes. These tomatoes seem to be doing okay. Some of them are not doing so well and some of them are doing okay. I'm going to go ahead and, and replant some seeds for these. I think there's still time. Ditto for these. My peppers are doing just great. Good on my peppers for doing well. My, my spicy peppers are doing fine. My hot peppers. My onions are doing pretty well too. I'm going to plant those out hopefully in a week or so in the ground and hopefully they will grow and everything will be awesome. My abutilon not so much. I think it got really hot in here while I was away and I left some kind of instructions for my wife about when to open and when to close but she's not really a plant person so there's some blanching going on of my abutilon. It's still too cold to leave it outside so it's been in here. I am very confident that it will recover though. Uh, my wife is a great woodworker but not a great gardener and that's okay. You can't have everything. What we can have though, and please forgive, my grass has not been cut because I'm waiting for it to recover and then I'll cut it and I'll cut it on a high setting. We had snow on Monday, by the way. It's just bonkers. We had snow on Monday this week. Snow all the time. It's just frustrating, but we do have some lovely hyacinths here as well as some weeds, which I will get rid of. Uh, my hostas are coming up, which is nice and my irises are preparing for a lovely bit of display here and my little lovely double narcissus or daffodils they're doing great as well what I do want to show you is right up here and that is my potato pots so I picked these up from the local feed store they were huge and a little bit on the expensive side but I've put potatoes in here. I haven't looked to see if the potatoes are doing anything yet. Um, this soil is not the best soil. I need to put some fresh soil in and maybe put some, some drainage in. But I think things will slowly grow here. And then in this one, this weekend, hopefully I'll put the rest of my potatoes in. Don't worry about the water because there is a drain hole in these. So just to kind of make a point, you'll see that we actually opened a drain plug on this one so it, the water can drain out, so it's not going to be waterlogged in there, which is good because potatoes don't like being waterlogged. But down here we have signs of life and it's really nice and I can't wait. Someone is um, giving us a tractor, an electric tractor. I'm really excited about it. I know they watch and I'm sorry I haven't reached out because I've been just so busy, but I cannot wait to get the tractor in here and basically even things out a bit but look we have leaves that means we'll have flowers soon as well and same for our cherries cherry blossoms are nearly on the way it's like nearly the end of april it just feels really late but everything is really late this year including this tree but that's good like i say we had some snow it wasn't monday because i wasn't here on monday it was tuesday we had snow on tuesday morning also, over here, ignore the dog poo that someone missed, I do apologise, we have some lovely parsnips that are growing up from last year. Parsnips are not supposed to be two season, but they are, and they're growing, so I'm just going to leave them. This has got nothing in it at the moment, but this, this is like my Lazarus plant, so we had, this is a lettuce that, that has survived the winter, and... I don't know what that is. I don't think that's a lettuce. I'm going to let it grow a bit longer and see if it is, but I don't think it is. But anyway, the fact that we've got lettuce growing is pretty impressive. And right here, it looks like things are starting to pop up. There are going to be parsnips in both of these. And we've got some lovely horseradish coming through here, but check out my, check out my rhubarb. My rhubarb is a maize. It's not quite ready to eat yet, but that's okay. So 
I'm going to walk through here and show you some of the other things going on. Someone said to me the other day, why do you always walk under your veranda? Well, that's a pretty, that's a pretty simple answer. So the answer is that my house number is on the front of my house and I try really hard not to show the front of my house. So yes, that is why I do this. We'll have some eggs in here as well. So let's go and have a look at some eggs. We don't have any eggs. Someone is broody in the back of the nest box though. So we might have to have a little chat about why I don't need more chickens because my chickens think I need more chickens and I don't want to disavow them of that lovely knowledge. Um, I think that might be unfair, but anyway, we'll see. My volunteer onions are growing nicely. My strawberries, not so much. There's lots of thistles coming up now. So I really need to get in here and do some digging. None of the things I planted before I went away have popped up yet because the weather's just been so abysmal. Um, hopefully though, we'll get some things popping up very soon. There's some peas. I think I may have seen a pea the other day, but I can't see them now. I really need to like mark these off so that I don't have critters helping themselves. But I tell you what has started to grow for the, the year, and it's always an exciting sign that spring is on the way. Look at this, my rhubarb. My rhubarb are finally starting to grow and I'm happy about that. Also my strawberries are poking up from underneath the straw. Straw and strawberries and mulching the strawberries and putting like a, a protective layer of straw over is really awesome. It seems to be working really well. Also, check out my, check out my uh, garlic there. And, oh look, I'm trying to decide whether that's a rhubarb or whether that is a bramble. I think it might be a bramble. Either way, I don't want it in my garlic, so I will be removing that this weekend, post haste. And it started raining. Of course it started raining. I came out here to film this thinking it would be lovely, and now it's raining. <laughs> the chickens want to come out. They're not allowed out yet because the grass is still not recovered. And because we've had so much rain, it's quite muddy in there and I feel really sorry for them. But they do have fresh dry straw. They do have access to fresh dry bedding and they're laying eggs and eating. So I guess that's a good thing, right? So what else has been going on at the house? Well, I have been away, as you know, so I haven't done any gardening for a while and there are lots of things that I need to do with the garden that I'm hoping to do this weekend if the weather gets better. Next week, I think it's supposed to be like fairly spring-like, so it's like maybe six or seven degrees Celsius right now, which is kind of cold. But next week, next week it's supposed to get up to like 22 degrees Celsius, which I'm very excited about because it means things will start growing grass will start growing things will plants will start growing and hopefully we'll be able to get everything back where it needs to be because everything is so far behind uh, everything else is doing well the roses have started to come up my roses are coming up which is nice i haven't cut i didn't cut them back last winter so i need to cut these back Oh, I just inadvertently showed my house number. So uh, you're not gonna get to see that bit. This is the box hedge. Unfortunately, I just showed my house number, so you're not gonna see that. But this is the box hedge that we purchased to replace the ones that died. And unfortunately, this one has lost all of its leaves. I'm not entirely sure why. I don't know if it's just got super wet because um, this has just been sitting on the side here. This is some rosemary I inherited from Erin. And this is a rose bush that I also inherited from Erin and it seems to be growing very happily and so I'm going to leave it alone and hope that it is fine. Also, check these out. These need to go in. These are my blueberries. I really need to put these in. That's something I need to do this weekend. Figure out where my blueberries are going to go. Because I like blueberries. I'd quite like to have some blueberries. Anyway, that's a bit of a rambly look around my garden. As you can see, there's a lot of work that needs to be done because I've been away. And that's been the real challenge, you know, been away, had a lot to do, not been able to 
work on a lot of stuff and that's been the tough bit but hopefully I'm back here for a bit and the garden will start growing and spring is finally just about round the corner. Anyway, let me know in the Discord chat room or on Mastodon if you prefer, or if you're a Patreon supporter, you can do that in the comments there. If you want more, subscribe, hit the bell and follow the links to regularly support us with a YouTube membership or a Patreon subscription. You'll also find links below to our Kofi Bitcoin and swag store, as well as that aforementioned Mastodon server. Scrolling on my right is a list of amazing charged up supporters and shout outs go out to our self-driving tier supporters. They are Paul Nelson, Mike Weeder, Denny High, Linda Irish, Lance Schall, Mark Eggleton, Cyprian Laplace, John Trammell, Alan Tupper, Chris Maxwell, Brian Newton, Bennett Elder, Andrew Martin, Sean Tucker, Pedro Moura Pinheiro, Carl Hodgson, Tony Moss, Brophy Wolf, Kyle Fox, Hay Esker, Tazlet in the Gong, Dan Blair, Peter Dillinger, Gordon C, Stefan Fremgen, Stephen Williams, Ray Jean Fellows, Chris Ascentor and Jim Burness. Finally, out of this world, thanks to our top tier supporters. They are John L. Henderson, Clay Witt, CPU Freak 101, John Lyons, Kevin Burrowbridge, Andrew Glenn, Anonymous Freak, Joe Hughes, Dave Kitchen, Joe Bresney, Nigel S., Matthew Drobnak, Eric Knack, Paul Conway, Stephen O'Donoghue, JP Fagerback, Reggie Watts, Marcel Ward, Robert Flannery, Aaron Hahn, Rory Litwin, Ellery Hensley, Will Graylin, and of course, Ian. I know that there are some numbers, oh, I'm sorry, I know that there are some names even. I'm tired, I'm still slightly jet lagged. I know that there are some names that are missing on that list and we're going to look at it next week because there's a lot of names missing and I want you to know that if you are one of those missing names, please do not feel that we are ignoring you. We have just been travelling for six weeks straight and it's just, we're just recovering, we're just almost recovered from it. So know that you are very much um, part of the TE supporter club and we are very grateful for your support anyway don't forget that we produce content every monday wednesday and friday over on the main channel plus saturday obviously for 10 and then on sunday over here for take two with the uh, chicken and garden update and also the sunday musing it is checking it down almost now so i'm going to go back inside i also need to go and get the um, windscreen fixed on my truck so that's about it from me thanks for joining me and as always keep evolving mm -hmm.